Crimson Peak is a gothic romance about the disintegration of this triangle between these three people. Thomas is a very mysterious character. Would you be mine? There's something kind of dark about him, but Edith is kind of immediately struck by him. Edith is a good person, and she believes in the essential goodness of people. Would you mind getting me a copy of the house keys, please? You don't need one. There are parts of the house that are unsafe. If she reads from Lucille any kind of coldness, she would never imagine it was for some darker purpose. This is your home now. Lucille's the opposite of Thomas. She doesn't like to be outside the safety of the home she grew up in. The house is a principal character. It has secrets in the same way that human beings harbor demons and secrets. Constantly, you feel the house is full of uh, ghosts. Guillermo's incredibly skilled at holding back surprises. He is the primary interpreter of gothic romance in contemporary cinema. It's a particularly sophisticated approach to a ghost story. Where I come from, ghosts are not to be taken lightly. The beauty of the movie is part of the storytelling. This is a different slant to everything you normally see in the horror genre. What do you want? Do we have to do this? Must we? Yes. It's very, very scary indeed.